I remember being at the race, the Provincials for Duathlon, and I didn't even realize I had won when I was done. I was just, I didn't realize I was the first girl who crossed the line. And then people were congratulating me and I didn't really know what it was for. And then finally it sunk in that I was the first woman and I was the Provincial Champion for Sprint Duathlon. And then it took even more time to realize that that meant I was on Team Canada and I would get to travel with the team, go to Spain, and it's, it's just such an amazing opportunity and I'm so glad that I can represent Canada and even just represent Queens. So my name is Jasmine Agarwal and I'm a fourth year life size student at Queens. I was originally a runner, but I struggled with a lot of injuries and health issues. So I went through a really bad bout of severe iron deficiency anemia. So I was a track runner and basically my track career kind of had to end because I was really sick. I just needed something new because I had so much pressure on me as a runner that I just couldn't keep doing it anymore. And then I found triathlon and I loved it. And now my iron is better and I can just succeed in triathlon. And it's so, it's really great that I found something that I can finally get back into and find success. Uh, well, initially I was a swimmer. So I stopped in, I believe maybe grade nine or so. I went into running just as something to kind of almost fill the gap of uh, the free time and energy I found myself with. I had a lot of people always telling me, oh, you should do triathlon, you're so close, you'll need the bike. And I was a long distance swimmer as well, so it all fell in line. Yeah, my name's Sam. Uh, I'm from Toronto, it's about 80% of Queens, I think it is. Um, and I'll be racing uh, my second year here with Queens Triathlon, as well as acting as the swim coach. Oh, it's really cool coaching, to be honest. Um, really, when I'm training, all I'm thinking of is just constantly improving every day. And um, yeah, coaching, I just kind of get to help others constantly improve every day. So um, yeah, I want to be the swim coach, mostly because I kind of have some experience swimming. I've coached myself swimming and seen results from that, so I know that uh, my training plan can lead to good results. So yeah, it's exciting just to help people with technique and uh, kind of both physical and technical, I guess you could call it, methods of improving their speed. Hi, my name is Megan Parker. I'm at Queen's for fourth year computer engineering and I'm from Etobicoke. In high school, I was a competitive swimmer, so I come from a swimming background. I was swimming with a master's club in grade 11 and 12, and there were a bunch of guys on the team that were iron men. And I remember thinking, wow, that's really cool, like that's a really intense thing to do. So I'm not at that level, but it's definitely something to work towards. The first time I did a triathlon, I was in grade 10, I believe, and it was in my hometown of Aurelia. And it was a really small race, really short distance, so it was just a little taste of what the sport was. And triathlon, you'll probably hear people say is an addicting sport. Once you start, you can't stop. I think a lot of people look at triathlon as something really hard, but realistically it's no tougher than, I don't know, a 90-minute soccer game. Um, I think looking at it, from a totally kind of non-athletic perspective, it looks tough, but the reality is, I think in any sport, it's only as tough as the effort you put in. It's pretty much all in the moment for me. I just focus and get through the race. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm swimming, yeah, I'll have song lyrics go through my head, but usually I find I'm doing it at my best when I'm just focused on the moment and not really thinking about the race too much. <laughs> First, I'd say is probably Simon Whitfield, a uh, pretty famous Canadian triathlete. Uh, funnily enough, he was from Kingston, Ontario, and funnily enough, he coached Queen's Triathlon swimming. Um, so before the season started, I actually tweeted at him asking for some t uh, tips, and he tweeted me back. That got me pretty psyched up just to start coaching and everything. 
Um, and yeah, he's all around just a really big inspiration, just being one of the first and one of the fastest uh, triathletes that Canada has ever had. I'm gonna go with Jasmine Agarwal, the president. <laughs> um, she's a great athlete and she's a good friend of mine, so awesome. I really look up to her. <laughs> Uh, my number one fan, uh, pretty close between my mom and my girlfriend actually. Um, one of my meets in the summer, my girlfriend actually brought out some signs for me. So that was pretty great. And then my mom, of course, um, just constant support, constantly driving me to races, getting up um, early to take me somewhere to bike, things like that. Just things no one else would do except your mother or maybe someone you were paying. Um, I think I would say my brother. My brother is 15 years old and he is my triathlon protege. So it started off that I was forcing him to train with me and now he loves it and he just, he loves training, he loves competing and he really looks up to me as a triathlete. He comes to all my races that are in the summer and he is definitely my biggest cheerleader. I'd say it is a team sport, it feels a lot more, um, I spend a lot of time with my teammates and we work out together. It's great because you can socialize while you're working out and you just get really close with everyone and you've got something in common with a lot of people.